Good morning to you, Center County, from the Penn State Campus Weather Service. I'm student meteorologist Stefano DiPietro, here to bring you your weather for Tuesday, January 28, 2014. To get started off right away with this week with our weather headlines, today you can expect bitterly cold temperatures as we struggle to even get the double digits this morning. And you can expect that wind chill to be a big factor early this morning and into the afternoon hours. This is going to feel a lot colder than it actually is. So you can expect temperatures to fall below zero and that wind chill to remain a factor. So it's going to be very cold tonight. And those frigid temperatures are going to continue throughout this week and even into early next week as we're going to struggle to get even above freezing throughout this week. But right now, let's take a step outside to look at those current conditions live at the Penn State Arboretum. Currently zero degrees in State College. Those winds are out of the west at eight miles per hour. Take a look at the feels like temperatures. Currently feels like minus 15 degrees in State College. That trend is going to continue throughout the day today and even into tomorrow as that wind chill is really going to become a factor. Let's just zoom out so we can see how the state is doing this morning. Currently zero degrees in State College. Bradford is at minus eight. Johnstown at minus 10. Even those areas that are usually a little bit warmer than um, the western portions of the state. Only 13 degrees this morning in Philadelphia and only 8 degrees in Allentown. Even as we zoom out to look at temperatures across the nation, you can see that cold Arctic air mass that has dipped down into the United States, just creating havoc throughout the entire state, throughout the entire nation, excuse me. Currently 0 degrees in Buffalo. Chicago is at minus 10. Peyton Manning, Omaha is at minus 6, and Memphis at 16. And as I said, because that winter is going to be such a big factor today, let's take a look at those feels like temperatures. Currently feels like minus 7 degrees in Stormstown, minus 23 in Clearfield, and in Du Bois you feel like minus 27 this morning. Even as we zoom out, that wind chill remains a factor throughout the entire state. Feels like minus 19 in Bradford, minus 23 in Johnstown, and even as we move eastward, only feels like minus 2 degrees in Philadelphia and minus 3 in Allentown. With those wind chills that we are going to experience today, we're going to have some watches and warnings put up for the entire state today that are going to last up until about noon today, maybe later into the afternoon. Those, those watches mainly to the eastern portions of the state and those wind chill warnings to the west. So if you're going out this morning, you really want to pay attention to the wind chill, dress very warm. It is going to be a little bit dangerous. You could get frostbite if you leave some of your skin exposed this early this morning. Just, as we can, just so we can look at the Doppler radar, not too much on the radar this morning, just a few blips of snow uh, here and there. And as we zoom out, not even much throughout the entire state, mainly clear skies. Throughout the state, not much precipitation to worry about. There's some lake effects snow to our north, but that is not going to affect us in any way. But the real main story, once again, is going to be the cold for today. As we look at today's forecast, frigid and windy today. That high only reaching about 11, and that's even a stretch for this for today. Uh, that those winds are out of the west at 8 to 10 miles per hour, so that wind chill is going to be effect today and even into tonight as we move into tonight. Brutally cold temperatures tonight, minus one, and those winds out of the west at five to ten miles per hour is going to make it feel like it's e feel like it's a lot colder than it actually is even as we move into tomorrow we're going to struggle to get to the teens tomorrow as we have more biting cold temperatures only 13 degrees for your high tomorrow those winds once again out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour so that wind chill is going to remain uh in, in effect throughout the day today and into tomorrow and even as we move in move through the rest of the week brutally cold temperatures for most of the week brutally cold on wednesday only a high of 13, that overnight low dipping off to about 3. Thursday, sunny and cold. A little bit of a warm-up than from what we've been seeing lately. 22 degrees on Thursday, that overnight low dipping into about 6. On Friday, we actually do get above freezing, it looks like. 35 degrees for your high on Friday, that overnight low dipping below freezing, however. Uh, overnight low of 20. On Saturday, you can expect maybe a rain-snow shower mix here and there. A high of 34, low dropping off to about 22. On Sunday, you expect mostly cloudy skies, and we actually come back to come back to the freezing mark 32 degrees on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday we begin to see perhaps another cold snap as we dip below the freezing mark once again well that's all I have for you today Center County thank you very much for joining us from the Penn State Campus Weather Service I'm Stefano DiPietro